So I recently just got back from France where I went ahead and got my whole chest tattooed video coming soon. And it was while I was there by myself for 10 days that I had a lot of time to really sit down think and reflect on my whole tattoo journey leading up towards this bodysuit. And it was while I was in the airport waiting to leave for France that I realized that I am now entering a whole new stage in my tattoo journey. One that's totally new to me and might just be my final stage. So for today's video, I'm gonna be talking with you guys all about the different stages that I have been through in my tattoo journey from the reasoning and mentality behind my first tattoo when I got it at 17, all the way up until now being 29 and entering this final tattoo stage. And I will say a lot of these stages that I have been in left behind still somewhat carry along with me to this day, even though I've entered into a whole new stage. So the first stage in my tattoo journey and the reason why I got my first tattoo was, and I know this is gonna sound so cringy to say, but it was to look cool. And I feel like this stage is gonna resonate with a lot of people out there. Now, when I was a teenager, even though that feels like it was forever ago, I feel like a teenager's perspective on tattoos still somewhat stays the same to this day of them being kind of considered cool, edgy, sexy, interesting, rebellious. And, you know, I wanted to get a tattoo to kind of resemble all those things, especially because I never felt like I was any of those. Personally, I always felt when I was a teenager, I was a bit of a loser, outsider. I felt like I never got any second look. So for me, getting a tattoo kind of would put me in that kind of category and make me feel and look a bit more cooler. <laughs> I know, right? And even though my first tattoo was a cross to kind of commemorate my faith, I kind of used that as a ploy to go ahead and convince my parents to let me get this tattoo. I had to abide by certain rules of it being kind of, you know, respectable, hidden, and all that. So even though, yes, this was kind of something for me, it was kind of just something I used as an excuse to kind of get tattooed and obviously to be considered cool. Now, after getting my first tattoo of the cross on my shoulder, I ended up getting a couple more tattoos not too long after that because they indeed did make me feel all those things of cooler, edgier, more rebellious, interesting. And I can definitely look back on those tattoos now and say they were leading me into the next stage of my tattoo journey. And that was all about gaining and building confidence in myself. See, I realized I was getting more attention because of these tattoos. More people were asking me questions about them, noticing me about them. Just overall conversations grew because of them. And with that, I just gained more confidence in myself overall. Overall. But there was one big thing that I also realized and it wasn't the fact that I was looking or feeling cooler about myself. It was the fact that I was feeling better about myself internally because at the time as a teenager, I had a lot of big insecurities and I felt like these tattoos were taking those insecurities and you know, not making them as much in my eyes. See, I have a hearing aid as you guys can see. I have no ears. I have a big fucking forehead. See, I can laugh at all these things now, but back then those things were things I was just really self-conscious about. And I felt the tattoos were to turn people's eyes away from these things that I didn't want them to look at. And instead they were noticing the tattoos and it honestly felt like that was a thing. So, you know, it was huge to, in terms of building confidence in my eyes and it was just a big step for me. Now, after my three initial tattoos that I got, I ended up taking a little bit of a break from getting any more tattoos, and that was more because I was told I couldn't get any more parents' rules, or else I would have gotten more and more and more tattoos because of those stages and reasons that I just said. But thank God I took a break because I probably would have gotten a lot more shit tattoos that I would end up having to remove, laser, and get rid of. But it was after losing my nonna, who was like my favorite person in the world, and then losing my grandfather not too long after that, about a month after that, that I entered into the next stage of my tattoo journey and that was to use tattoos in a more of a spiritual commemorative type of way. See, this led me into getting the angel for my nonna, the rose for my grandfather, and then the clock with the filigree for my nonno. And getting these tattoos really showed me a different view on tattoos and gave me a different feel for them as well. Because commemorating somebody with a permanent piece of art on your body is such a great feeling. And even though these tattoos are my most artistically best tattoos out there on my body, they are still some of my favorite because carrying somebody's memory on you and having a piece commemorated just for them is such a great feeling. Now, after getting a couple tattoos over the years, you start to learn a lot more about tattoos. And then I realized the importance of going to the right artist for the right job, and then the benefits of getting good quality work. And this is where I enter the next stage, the fourth stage in my journey. And that is getting top quality work and then just enjoying the art of the tattoos. And I gotta thank Evil for bringing me into this stage because I can still remember it to this day where I entered it. And that was right after I got my Poseidon tattoo. I remember seeing this tattoo and just thinking, wow, this looks so realistic, such a great piece of art. And I was just 
I was struck. But I also saw that tattoos could be more than just cool or commemorative, that they can be just a form of art on your body. And from that point on, my whole journey to this date is still all about quality, theme, and just the art of the tattoo. Now the fifth stage in my tattoo journey is no longer caring what others think about me and the tattoos that I get and just getting them for myself. Now I believe I entered this stage not too long after I started getting tattoos with Brandon but more specifically once we got and finished that Anubis tattoo because before this I was getting a lot of tattoos and their designs they weren't anything crazy they were very timeless popular simple tattoos. But this Anubis tattoo was very different in terms of me stepping outside my comfort zone because it was very mean dark looking tattoo and I was scared people would kind of judge me based off this tattoo and think the same way of me but it was right after I finished getting this tattoo that I just immediately fell in love with it and it's still probably one of my favorite tattoos to this day and I just no longer cared what other people thought about the tattoos that I was getting and I think we can definitely see that more and more as you kind of continue my journey with the tattoos that I'm getting I'm getting a lot more visible tattoos I got a freaking alien on the back of my head I got a big T-Rex on my back. You can definitely see that I just, I'm no longer caring what other people think and I'm just getting tattoos for myself. And this is such a great stage to be in. So now we have the sixth and final stage. And this is a stage that I realized that I was in while I was waiting in the airport to head out to France. And now that I'm back from my trip, I can definitely say I am in this stage. And that is traveling and collecting tattoos by my favorite artist around the world now see it's funny because once i found brandon and that was totally by fluke and chance i thought i would have the rest of my body done by him he's an amazing tattoo artist top quality and because i want to have a consistent kind of look throughout my whole bodysuit but it was after i finished the whole backside that i was kind of hit by something and that is i am now running out of space i have over 50 percent of my body tattooed and now the areas that i have left i got to be very particular in terms of what i choose to put there and who does that work as well now it would be amazing to have more work done by brendan but now i kind of just want to collect tattoos from other artists around the world and these are artists that i love have looked at them and wanted work done by them for the longest time and being able to say i traveled and got a tattoo by so and so in this country holds a lot more meaning to me than just a regular tattoo in terms of the design maybe I liked and all that. See, now in my journey, in my stage, a tattoo really doesn't have much more meaning than maybe I just like the idea and the design. But now being able to say I traveled and I have all these memories that are associated with this tattoo as well, that in itself makes it so much more memorable and more amazing. And I would rather use up the limited space that I have left to do that instead. Now, I want you guys to do me a favor, and that is go ahead and comment and be honest with me. What stage in the tattoo journey are you in? And did any of the stages that I mentioned resonate with you at all? Also, stay tuned. And if you are new, subscribe because I am going to be releasing my full chest tattoo, the one that I flew out to France to get. And I got to say, guys, this is a crazy tattoo. It is one that I took a risk on and is different. But a lot of people that I've shown already absolutely love it. And I can't wait to hear what you guys think of it as well. I think you guys will like it. <laughs> or at least I hope. Anyways, like always, Justin out. Later, guys.